So they also sell these and sell everything. The filters, um, there's a little edge line here. You're going to fold this over. Filter in, and you're just going to rinse it. I know one here. And this gets rid of any natural impurities. I've had people try to drink this too. <laughs> but there's something to kind of pour stuff in case you need to pour out any excess. Their sinks can be kind of far and it can get kind of crowded in there. Okay. You have your ground coffee, and I would bring it to um, I think with the kits that we sold you guys, they come with little scoops. So you guys probably have scoops in there. But I always bring a spoon. Um, you guys have your pour-up instructions? Yes. Sir. Okay, I want to make sure you do. All right. So this is kind of well. You guys have scales. I'm sorry. I want you guys to see what I'm doing, but I'm trying to instruct you over there. So there's a scale, and on one side is going to be the scale on the right. On the left side is going to be your timer. Um, depending on what kind of coffee you use, your guys' coffee is like a medium roast, so you can use like 25 grams. That's the number I would stick to. I haven't actually tasted your coffee, this will be my first time. But like I said, you can manipulate the flavors by using more or less coffee. Mm -hmm. 25 grams, you said? Yeah, I would, I would use 25 grams. Okay. Um, okay. The darker roast, I'd use closer to 20, and the lighter roast, I'd use closer to 30. Is that a reset? Yeah, so so like you said, put some weight on it, just tear it. Okay, well. So you said a light roast would use 20. Oh, yes, light roast I use 30, and a dark roast I use 20. It's kind of. Okay, so I can So as you add it, you're seeing the weight. Yeah, I can see the weight on the scale. Okay. Then you just kind of flatten it out. Just stick your finger in there. And then you're going to tear it. It just kind of takes it back to zero. Now you want to start your timer at about the time the water hits the coffee. And you're going to let it bloom for about 30 seconds. So this says 40 to 50 grams of water. You're trying to saturate all the coffee. And then when it blooms, it looks like it's breathing. And it's just releasing gases and oils. People will ask you what it's doing. So this is called blooming. Yeah. Okay. And you're at, so you're at 46. So you're right on it. Perfect. Yeah. So you're going to start your first pour at about 30 seconds. And you want to get to 200 grams within the minute. You don't want to hit your walls. You kind of want to stay okay. in the, the center. Down through yeah. the cup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it's an art. There it is. Yeah. I haven't made one in a while. Bear with me. I want to appreciate it. We we have our uh, lead roaster. He comes in here and makes like ten pour overs a day. <laughs> You're pretty good at it. Yeah. And so I'll let it drip until about like a minute and fifteen seconds, and then I'll start my my final pour. And then you want to inject another two hundred grams of water by the two minute mark. So you just did two hundred grams. Yeah. So now you're gonna be so it's all cumulative, right? So now you're gonna be at four hundred. Yeah, uh, you'll be at 400, like 4, 450, somewhere okay. around there when you end, and you'll be at about like 2, 2.30 uh, minutes. Okay. Well, by the time it finishes dripping, it should be about 2.30. And sometimes you can stop if it gets too high or if you're going too fast. Mm -hmm. It's good to agitate the water like this, but some people I've seen just stand there like this and do it like that. Oh. 
Whatever. <laughs> so you guys can taste it. Um, I want you guys to taste all of your stuff. I usually end up tasting it before I let anyone else taste it. Well, we're not going to break that thread. <laughs> I know, I know. I have not had it. We have, have been it. told to not, hands off of the Haiti it. coffee. Yeah, it's only for sale that. for you guys. And we don't touch it. So this will be my first time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.